Last night, the Warriors and Cavs game supposed to be a showcase for the NBA. Unfortunately, Golden State ruined it. They scored 78 points in the first half and then blew out Cleveland 126 to 91. So much for the league's best rivalry. But according to LeBron James, it's not a rivalry. Here's LeBron pregame yesterday talking about Cleveland and Golden State and is this a rivalry? I don't think it's a rivalry because it's two great teams just have aspirations. I don't believe I've ever had a rivalry in the NBA. It's just too many guys move and go places and teams are different look. You know, it's just it's totally different from, you know, the you know, the the eighties when you, obviously we saw, you know, the Celtics and the Lakers go at it so much and uh, you know, I don't look at it as a rivalry. All right. You know, in modern terms it's a rivalry. They played the Warriors in the finals the last two years. It appears they're headed for another showdown there. They're not rivals in the way we've been accustomed to this. There's no bad blood. I mean, if there is, it's Draymond Green stirring it up. What else do you have from there? It's not like somebody's going to clothesline somebody like Kevin McHale did with Kurt Rambis or Dr. J and Larry Bird exchanging punches, you know, where it's where it's ugly, where it means something, where players weren't buddies. You know, even though you had the bad boys, the Pistons, uh, Lakers, Bad boys with uh, Michael Jordan, where they knocked him to the ground, the Jordan rules. Nowadays, everybody's friends. They want to play with each other. You know, they, they share shoe, uh, shoe contracts and agents. They fly together. They, they vacation together. It is different. But in today's NBA, this is as close as what we have to a rivalry. Because the Warriors and Cavs are going to be headed for another showdown here. And if you do that three consecutive years in the NBA Finals, and there's a little bit of bad blood there, that constitutes as a rivalry. Now, they would laugh at this back in the 80s. Celtics and Lakers would go, are you kidding me? We might act that way during the preseason with each other, let alone the NBA Finals where they hated one another. But uh, LeBron and company got roughed up last night. I got the feeling, and once again, you know, I have no inside knowledge with this. It just felt like Cleveland didn't really care. Like it was the sixth, it was the sixth game of uh, a six-game, ten-day road trip, and they just felt like, ah, all right, you know, Golden State won. Ah, no big deal. It's a game in January. Who cares? Nobody cares about this game. We care in June. It's not like anything that happened last night is going to carry over to June, where you're going to go, hey, let's look back on what happened in January. Now, whoever the headline writers are saying, uh, Warriors get redemption here. No, no. When you lose an NBA championship, when you're up 3-1 and you lose, a January victory does not exonerate you. That doesn't make up for what happened in June. It does not. Oh, they got a little payback here. No, 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 no. I'll gladly, I'll gladly take wins in June over a blowout in January. It still feels like it's a Cleveland-Golden State League, and everybody else is going to be watching. Everybody else is sort of playing. Like, you're involved. It's, it's, it's a game of poker where you have some chips. Now, you might say San Antonio has a chance because it's San Antonio, and they're always quiet on purpose. But it feels like everybody else is at the table with a couple of chips. Meanwhile, they've got a couple of big stacks here. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.